Hey guys, so there was a bit of uh, information that came out courtesy of comicbook.com and this was on their Facebook page and basically, I'll provide, well first of all I'll provide the link in the description you guys can check it out, but apparently there's a television network or cable channel um, in Argentina, I don't know if it's paid or it's not paid whatever, you know, the, the case might be, you know, when it comes to this. But apparently, according to this report, and when you translate it, because it's in Spanish, when you translate it uh, on Twitter to Google Chrome or whatever your translator software is on your computer, apparently, there's an Argentina uh, television network cable channel that one week after... Uh, the Super Mario Brothers movie came out that this network who has had a history of doing this aired the entire movie on their channel yeah they aired the entire movie on their channel and this is one week apparently according to the report since the movie was released now here's my thing I understand that people will somehow get their hands on the, well, I guess nowadays, the USB drives or, you know, external, you know, hard drives or whatever, you know, films are, you know, distributed, you know, out as nowadays. You know, I know, you know, people will get their hands on it and then they will leak it online for everybody to, to see and enjoy, you know, without having to go to the theaters and pay for it. I mean, a good example, you know, from my personal experience, was My Little Pony, the 2017 film. Yes, I went to the theaters and saw it. But I also knew, and I'll admit it, downloaded it when it was uh, leaked online. And why? Because, if I, because, you know, let's say I couldn't make it out to the theater, which I did, thank God. You know, if I couldn't make it, you know, I'd be able to at least watch it at home and give my thoughts. But I wanted to support it as a fan. You know, I wanted to support you know, the, the movie and stuff, and, you know, that's what I did, you know, you know, I went to the theaters, I just checked something here, guys, hold on, you know, I went to the theater, and, you know, that's what I did, I, I supported it financially, you know, even though I had access, like a lot of other people, and I do apologize for the win, um, I did have access to it due to somebody leaking it online, because they got a hold of the USB uh, hard drive that the movie was, I guess the movie was distributed on. And also, I know about the screeners and everything that get leaked out there as well. But, but here's the thing. This, you know, this basically, um, long story short, this is not a leak. Based, you know, when you, look, when you read the story, it's not a leak. This is something that has happened, like I said, before with this network. This network did it recently with Ant-Man and Wasp, Quantumania, and they've done it, I think, even previously before. Now, I don't know if Nintendo's gotten on them, you know, about, hey, don't do this, you know, with our films. I don't know if Marvel's gotten on them, you know, Disney, Marvel has gotten on them with, because of what they did with Ant-Man and Wasp. But it seems that no matter what warnings they may get, you know, no matter what warnings they will get, they are constantly still doing it. And honestly, that's a bad look for any studio, whether it's here in the U.S., Canada, you know, North America overall, or, in, you know, across the globe in, in Argentina or, you know, in Japan or, or Europe or whatever. This is not a good look for them, you know, at all. Because, you know, think, cause think about it this way. We know. We know that if I check the time here, okay, got plenty of time. Let's maybe record at 14 minutes, 4 seconds, 4K. But we know, we know that back during the pandemic, yes, studios like Warner Brothers, like Universal, like Disney, you know, would do the, you know, the same day in theaters and on demand deal. We know they would. You know, we know they would for the safety of everybody. But we are now past that. We are now past that unless, unless, ladies and gentlemen, the the person, as I just uh, put the remote over here in the case, uh, unless the people in charge, 
you know, over um, in Argentina with this network, with this cable channel, you know, didn't get the memo. You know, and basically decided, hey, unless we get the call, unless our higher ups say, hey, it's, you know, everything's in the clear, you don't have to worry about this anymore. Unless, you know, somebody there didn't get the memo, you know, it appears that, you know, this cable channel, this network, you know, this cable channel, this network is going to keep doing this kind of stuff. Because again, like I said, you know, as I check the time there, because like I said, you know, they, they have had a history of doing this, you know, with, you know, other movies. Like I mentioned, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania was the most recent one before this. So I don't know what Nintendo's going to do. Honestly, I don't know what Universal Illumination's going to do. But they got to take a stand on this. And maybe they have. Maybe they have. Now, here's the thing, though. I, I understand people might say, oh, maybe that person's just saying that because they want to get attention. And all they did is get the screener or somebody leaked it to them. And they just put a little, uh, and they just photoshopped the TV logo, you know, or t cable channel logo in the upper right-hand corner or something, you know, to make it look like it got put on the air. That, that might be true. That might be true. That, you know, in some cases, you know, in most cases, that might be true. But according to the report, this is an actual cha cable channel, cable network that has been known to do this. And they, are, again, I'm assuming they've been warned. You know, by a lot of studios, including Disney slash Marvel. So now, Universal, Illumination, and Nintendo, you know, now they are basically going through the same thing, you know, that the other studios had when their movies got put in this situation. But the, so the question obviously is, the, the obvious question is, you know, is this going to stop? Is it going to come to an end? And I'm hoping that. Yeah, I, I'm hoping it does. Because look, as much as you know, a lot of us personally, let's be honest with ourselves, as much as, as, much as a lot of us personally would love to just have instant access to the film the moment it comes out in theaters to play in our home, the, this, you know, as, as much as we would love that, and we all do, and all, we all would, let's be honest with ourselves, you know, we, we all would love that opportunity. We know that the only way a movie is going to succeed is if it's financially supported. And to me, you know, this here, this situation is not financially supporting it. It's not. Because it, from what I'm understanding, reading this article, you know, it doesn't stay, you know, anywhere in it that, you know, the movie studios get a piece of the pie. You know, they get a piece of... A piece of the net worth or the, you know, are they getting any kind of royalties in return? It doesn't say any of that. And mostly, it doesn't confirm that this cable network, cable channel, whatever it is, you know, in Argentina, is a pay-per-view-like channel or on-demand channel that you have to pay for the movie for, pay uh, to watch the movie with. You know, either to rent it and watch it or buy it and watch it. It doesn't say that. All it's saying is that this is a regular cable channel and network that has been known to do this in the past. And that's not good. That is not good on their part, if you want my honest opinion. It's not good. And again, like I said, if I'm Nintendo, I'm Universal, I'm Illumination, if I'm the studios that have dealt with this prior, like Disney and Marvel and Warner Brothers, who, who knows who else has dealt with it uh, in the past and probably will end up dealing with it in the future, because you know this won't be the last time. If I'm them, I take a stand. I take a stand. I send a cease and desist to that Argentina cable outlet and say, hey, you know, we're telling you right now, t take this movie off the air. Take this movie off your network. You know, it's not ready. We did not give you the okay, the permission, if you will, to do this. Cease, so we're sending you this cease and desist to do that. Because and if you don't abide by the cease and desist, you know we will take you to court. And whatever the Supreme Court is out there in Argentina, I think would be, you know, the highest, you know, highest degree of, you know, 
going to court for over this that you know that I can imagine. So hopefully they do something like that, and I hopefully they they hopefully like I said, Universal, Illumination, Nintendo, you know Disney, Marvel, and anybody else that's dealt with this prior, Warner Brothers, Lion Gate, whoever. Hopefully they do this. Hopefully they start sending a cease and desist to these kind of places, not just in Argentina, but in other parts of the world, because you know other cable networks and channels across the world are probably doing something similar. Hopefully they send a cease and desist to them, and they're like, hey, stop this right now, or else there's going to be legal action that you will not recover from. So hopefully that happens. Because like I said, as much as we would love to have instant access to these films, as much as we would like to have instant access, we have to financially support it, especially if we want to see more continue, more of the same kind of movies and pre movie presentations occur in the near future. But let me know what your thoughts are. What are your thoughts on this whole Argentina situation? You know, when it comes to the Super Mario Brothers movie, as well as even before that, Ant-Man and Wasp, Quantumania, and others prior, probably prior to that. What are your thoughts on it? Give me a you know, let me know down below in the comments. Love the live chat during the premiere. Like the video. Support me at the places that you will find in the description. It will help me out greatly in this time to change, change guys. But let me, again, let me know what your thoughts are. And until next time, I will talk to you later.